But we don't know who we're going to tell this. We should look for what capital is. We got three names so far. Sanan and Fassi. Abu Dhabdad and his wife, Abu Dhabdad. Abu Dhabdad, the Rabbi Allah, she came and opened the door and he described her, Sanan. He described her name with a Bethlehem. And his description means that she was not, she did not look well kept. It looked like there was a problem going on in the house. Something was going on, brought her come to the door, dressed the way she dressed. The look that she came to the door with, it was not a look of a woman who married the house with her husband. It isn't what some man noticed just when he got back to the door. He said that to that. The father that shepherd. The man asked him to do that. What's the problem? Something wrong, something wrong. I'm looking, what's the problem? Pay attention, sisters and brothers, but sisters. Pay attention how I'm going to that. Who is from the best? She's from the best. That generation that we all know is the best generation. How does she describe the problem that she was having with her husband? It's a problem going on in the house. Right? A lot of us, we got a problem. When somebody comes to ask, we want to put everything on the table and make the other person look bad. So we want to make the other person look like the worst person to do. Once we finally get somebody to listen to us, we want to make our wife or our husband look like the worst person that ever walked the face of her. So the man asks, on the other side, what's the problem? She responded. Yeah. 
Thursday fast, Mondays, Thursdays, the white days, every other day possible. So now we come to the house, and the host, even though, even though the host, that brother that is his house and he's fasting, he still made food for his guests. It says, the son of the he made him food. But father of the that he saw. He said, eat, but I'm fasting. He told some man, go ahead and eat, but I'm fasting. And he said, hey, bro, what's the love of some man? Because in this story is that the Muslim, the Muslim, who loves the son of the master, so far the son is balanced. We're not too far to the left, but we're not too far to the right. But this man, the Sunnah, is balanced, is moderate in the middle. It's moderate in the middle, and balanced, is based on the law set of balance, and what the Prophet of Allah so teaches us is balanced. Not what the man with the shape says is balanced. Not what the person that you know be Muslim for so long says is balanced. Balance is according to the revelation. Balance and moderate is according to revelation, for the end Sunnah. He says, eat, I'm fasting. Abu Dhabi left, or Salman, what's your line? He responds. He says, so God, man, he has to have that type of food. Salman says to him, even though he's fasting, I'm not eating to you. I'm not going to eat until you eat. So he ate with him. That means he did what? He broke his voluntary fast out of respect for his guest. His brother. You got a guest in the house. You so the, 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 the son is an honor and respect the guest. From honor and respect the guest so that the guest enjoys what you present on the food. They're not even going to eat the food until you eat with them. So he breaks his fast and eats with them. He eats with them. But I'll be lying to Edith, this is all Edith. This is the man of those people we say we love. People are soft. That generation is soft with each other. Right? They have gentleness. It's okay to be soft with your brother. We're going to carry over the street into the, to the message, bro. So we think we got to be high school with someone out there. We think we can come here and do that with each other. And that's not from our team. It's not from some of the message that our ladies are saying. After that, it didn't stop there. It says, Sum al Nazare Um, Papa. I'm sorry. It says, So let me pan and leave. That's how Abu Dhabi Um. Pay attention. Abu Dhabi Um, she said he has no need for them. Meeting his wife, fasting continuously. All the time fasting. He will pray every night. All night. All night. You know what all night is? After he shut. Until the day of pleasure, a little before pleasure. That means his wife, what do we have to everything else in the household? He has no need for the dunya. That means everything was have to love that is what? Worship of Allah the Father. Amen. It says when the night came, when the night, it says that Abu Dhabi that he stood up to go pray. Because this is the norm. This is the norm. He prayed that night. After he said, not the father who did it for his husband at night. When everybody else is sleeping, he's up praying all night long. It says, go to go pray. But God alone, men. So, some men stopped him. And he told him to sleep. Get some sleep first before you pray. Don't pray all night. Get sleep first. But now, so he went to sleep. This is balance. This is in the middle. This is moderate. The husband, that a person goes to sleep at night, and then they get up. They get up out of a comfortable bed. They get up out of a warm bed with the trees outside, and they get up from under the air with the tile outside, and they stand and pray in the middle of the night when everybody else is sleeping. The husband, Abu Dhabi, was standing up from the beginning of the night, all night long, until the poor father praying. So what did the son man say? He said, none, none. He said, see. So he went to see. He respected the guests. He respected some man enough to take his wife to go to sleep. He went to sleep. It says, so as I say, I'm going to cause him to get up again. This is normal. I pray at night. So he wanted to get up again. 
is a way to seek longer, seek before seek. This is another kind of passage of the man from the land. When it came to the end of the night, the prophet told us the best part of the night is the last part of the night. When we got to that part of the night, the man said, Say up man. Now we have to pray. It says, the Sunday afternoon, so they woke out. The Sunday afternoon, so they woke out and they prayed for him. After that, the man, Brother Yohan, in the last advice he gave him about death, and this is for all of us, and it's not the balance. Our problem, a lot of our problem is we don't know what it means to be balanced. So every person has their own brain, their own mind, their own thought of what being balanced is. And being balanced goes back to relation. Being balanced goes back to the Quran and the Sunnah, the Prophet The best practice, as the man came to the Messiah and he was asking about fasting. So he told the man to fast every other day. The man said, I can do more than that. I can do better than that. The Prophet said, stop it. There is nothing better than that. There's nothing better than a voluntary fast every other day. A person is not strong enough to fast every day. That's not fair. That's not good. There's nothing better than fasting every other day. Voluntary. You can't even better than that. How do we know that? Because the Prophet told us there's nothing better than fasting every other day. There's nothing better than that. That's moderate. Based on what we've been talking to the Prophet all about himself. So after he told them to stay sleep and they got to pray, he said to them about that. The father of the man. The man said to him, In the name of the Ali Ahaka, but in the name of the Ali Ahaka, but in the name of the Ali Ahaka, but in the name of the Ali Ahaka. He mentioned three people with three categories. He said, Your Lord has a right over you. I'm going to that. Allah has, Allah has rights over us if we don't know. Just like we all know the husband and the wife have rights, Allah has rights over us. That we worship Allah alone. This is Allah's right. He said, Allah has a right over you. Your Lord has a right over you. Your body itself has a right over you. The body itself that Allah gave us. That Allah gave us. That we didn't have to think about. We didn't have to think about anything as we go through life. We don't have to think about anything when baby is born. And Allah blessed with the children already made. With eyes that work and ears that work and limbs. It is from Allah. Allah takes it back and he decides to take it back. He said, Your body has a right over you. That yes, you pray at night, but yes, you give your body is hot, you give your body is hard, you rest. And he said, Your family also has a right over you. Your wife. It's supposed to have your time and attention. You can't leave everybody to the side and you just do your all worship. He says, so give every person their rights. Every person has a hop. When this happened, when he said this, he says, so that's going to be so long as something. But that's what I'm going to do. Thank you.